It is the end of August and we're coming into September and October and the beginning of November for Curtis's work where things get absolutely insane. Today he is in Princeton. He will be back way late tonight. It will be an 18 hour day by the time he's all done. Uh, this will be very common for him in the days to come in the next many months as he works to wrap up projects before we head south for the winter. Hey Hux, how was your day bud? Did you have fun? So Hux and I had to go to Princeton today. We had a concrete pour that we had to do. And so we left the house at 3 a.m. It is now 7.30 and we're just sitting at the office at 100 miles. Just dropped off the guy I brought down with me. So poor Huxley had to come down. He spent a lot of time in the truck, went for a couple walks, but um, we just went for a walk here in town. So around here for him to be able to do his business, but he looks tired, I'm tired. So I'm batching it while Debbie's in Alberta. She's still out there with, with Thomas and family coming home on Saturday. So yeah, and I got some serious sun today, even with sunscreen on, she was pretty intense. So I'm gonna have to have a shower and get rid of some of this red. Look a little bit on the too much sun side. So that's my story for today. A very, very, very busy time of year. And consequently, Curtis is too busy um, to have any fun. We did have fun last week. Uh, he was able to take the majority of the week off and we went to Old McDonald Resort with our grandchildren and it was a lot of fun. Um, if you have not been to Old McDonald Resort on Buffalo Lake in Alberta, Canada, it's a great place to take your grandkids. You need to bring money. Everything is a buck or two to do. Um, that resort makes phenomenal money. I am certain of it. And it is a free-for-all. There are children everywhere on bikes and on rent carts and electric uh, scooters, electric bikes. It's busy. I actually got hit um, by a teenage girl on a mountain bike who decided she would somehow try to fit between Curtis and I walking and she pummeled me. I am black and blue. Um, she felt really terrible and was terribly embarrassed, but yeah, I really got nailed. Uh, but it's just kind of indicative of what it's like there. There's kids everywhere. You need to have eyes in the back of your head and you need to be watching for traffic constantly because there are so many children there learning to ride bikes or have never had the freedom to just ride everywhere and anywhere and they go way too fast. But we did have a really good time with our grandkids. We had a great site. It was right across from the beach and so the kids got to have lots of fun. Uh, this coming... Two weeks, Curtis is going to be working a lot. We're doing some renos in the trailer, so we'll be showing you that. Um, and yes, we're crazy. We just keep coming up with more things and new things to do and to change everything up. So I am very excited about this next renovation. It is definitely driven by my wants. Um, I'm hoping that this will make it that I don't have to step foot in a laundromat again. So that kind of gives you an idea where we're heading. And if you know our unit, it's a 250 RDS from Outdoors RV, titanium series. And if you know that floor plan, I'm sure you're thinking, where in the world would you put a washer dryer combo? Well, we're gonna show you. So I hope you have a great week. We will see you in two weeks from now. And we're really looking forward to, it's not very long before we head south. And then we will be back to our normal content of lots of hiking and activities and Curtis not working such ridiculous hours. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week. Bye.